evening. Welcome to the Gorilla Stone Pod. I've never understood what is what is with African leaders bowing down, kneeling to their oppressors. The king is here, the English king, King Charles the Third, the sausage figure king of the British has come to satisfy, to satisfy his curiosity on how many people they tortured, they killed and massacred in Kenya during the colonial times and we still have the guards to welcome them with both hands and place a red carpet on your oppressor. How stupid must Africans be? How does it come to this place mentally? I don't know. So it means that even in 2023, with all this information we have, we're still too far from ever overcoming our, our, our punitive ideologies. That's why you always look up to the the first world countries for solutions instead of finding them in ourselves it's like we never have not yet believed in ourselves enough there is the africa.com already a step taken by willing africans who have sought out to bridge the gaps in all our, between all africans with our own app making sure you're not left behind by this movement and revolution of technology that's happened right now. But watching me, watching my president and other leaders bowing down to the colonizer, it's a big, it's a huge thumbs down to William Ruto. So meaning that the white man still looks at Africa like Full stones to be stepped on and walked all over. So we, we are here to come out of that ideology. There's not even one leader who is willing, especially in East Africa. At least we have some examples of revolutions, like in the Mali, in the Niger the Chad, the Kinafaso, they have thought that this is the time now to come out of the shadows of these white people. We ought to determine our own destiny, our own futures, as a young African vibrant nation, rich in culture and everything. We are African, Africa is us, and it should be our own business, not anyone else. Gorilla Stone Pod.